Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back with us by ukulele on the PC. Last time, we did some more stuff here in Gooder Glaze Glacier. I think it was uh, uh, something about the honey to climb up a mountaintop that we didn't have a key for, something like that. And we couldn't beat that ghost right there. Uh, I went back and looked at my other videos, or my other video of beating this guy, and apparently I forgot that you have to dodge his attacks and then attack him and that should hopefully finish him off. I, th I hope. And if not, well, we'll figure it out at some point here. I got you. Um, now hopefully this guy doesn't take too much of a beating here. Okay, we gotta actually dodge here. But we're not doing so hot. Yeah, once you dodge him, he'll turn a different color, and then we can wail on him. But this guy is... There we go. He's kind of a pain in the butt. Ow, he's fast. And the ice is just irritating enough that you don't slip around a lot, but you slip around enough to be... slightly screwed over by it. So, yeah, we're going to have to try that again. Luckily, I think we shouldn't have too many problems here. You get up. Come on, you can do it. Ah, you... I was hoping I could, like, roll into the... the jump there. Actually, let me try something here. I'm not sure if this will actually work, but I'm going to give it a shot here. Let's go... down, and then let's make our bubble. How do we make our bubble? I forget. I thought it was... There we go. Now, let me see if... Our... Now, I was hoping our bounce attack would have enabled us to... get out of the water like that, but... Oh, well. Oh, and apparently you can't use the roll while you're in the bubble because the bubble uses the roll button. Alright, gotcha. But I was hoping I could just kind of... not do that. See, we'll see what we're talking about here in just a moment. Yeah, do this and then kind of jump into a double jump there, but I might need more air time for that to actually work out. As for you guys, screw you. Luckily, we don't have to worry about the cold anymore, so that's fine and dandy like. Uh, are you attacking me from way down here? That's actually perfect because that means I don't have to deal with you up there. Jeez, guy, come over here. <sighs> Damn slippery ice bullshits. It's not even that slippery. It's just slippery enough that it does mess up the controls a little bit. Fucker. And if he doesn't go, like, past you. I don't think it counts. You actually have to... You actually have to kind of go around. There we go. Got him. Jeez, you're a pain in the ass. I think it's just primarily on this level that he's a pain in the butt because of the damn ice mechanics. Because, yeah, you slip and slide a little bit. Not too much, just enough to be irritating. But it's a good thing he came down here instead of going all the way up there. Um, now, I'm not sure if we actually went to... Stop it. Over that little section right there. I think we did. We're going to do a quick check. And then after that, we'll explore the uh, watery part that we didn't actually get around to doing last time. And see if anything is over there. Hey, I guess this guy's gone. That's cool. Don't got to deal with you. And we don't got to deal with freezing to death anymore. Come on, slip and slide. Come here. I know there's a... Oh, I thought there was a butterfly right there. Now, that's for you. Oh, don't you dare. Oh, I thought that might have been like a ledge right there. I mean, I think it's just a uh, ice school. So nothing really too concerning. There's that snowman that wants his hat. Yeah, okay, we've been over here because we had to light the... The fire. I thought there might have been more to the side over here, but apparently not. Oh, no, okay, I see where we are. Gotcha. Okay, looks like we're just going to spend most of our time in the water then. And then after after this, we'll probably just go ahead and start expanding 
the area here and see how it goes. Let's see. Let's just go ahead and bubble. I don't even know if there's a whole lot to do in the water, really. I mean, there might not be a whole lot. By the way, I don't think I've mentioned this, but this probably isn't going to be a 100% run. I mean, I'll do is a fair amount and as much as I can for the most part, but I'm not going to try to get every single clickable in the game just because, well, some of the stuff I might not know how to do and don't feel like looking up, and I might just not be good enough to get some of the other stuff. I mean, yeah, for something like Badger Kazooie that I played before, I had no problem with it because, you know, I beat it and played it all over the time and stuff like that, but I don't think it's completely necessary to 100% everything, even though I tend to somehow. I mean, I do tend to get reasonably caught up in looking things up and eventually getting 100%, but if it starts getting irritating to the point where I can't get, like, that one last jiggy or something, or not jiggy, uh, quill or whatever, then, yeah, I might just say screw it. Because, like, uh, let's say uh, Banjo, Banjo Tooie, freaking Canary Mary 2.0, yeah, screw that. Then again, cheat rubber banded. Like, fuck. So, yeah, she was just a cheating bastard. And I don't want anything to do with her, so screw that. And, you know, I don't want to deal with you guys in your blocks, so goodbye. There you go. Got it. I was hoping for another butterfly. No such luck. Now... I think that little section of water over there um, is kind of, sort of, sectioned off, I think. Like, not entirely, but at the same time, it's not completely connected, I don't think. No, I want to be down here, and I want to go fast. How do you speed up your swimming? I don't think you do. Oh, that reminds me. I forgot. I actually, I think we already mentioned it. But um, I think we can actually use our bubble ability in the first world and go get that switch underwater. Now, over here, I want to see if this is someplace we've already been to or not. I don't remember. I don't think we've been in here unless this is just where... The snowman is hanging out. Gloomy Gem Grotto. No, we have not been in here. And you're not a ghost. You're just fireflies. Hey, and we're glowy. Awesome. I love it. Not quite what I was going for, but okay. I do want to go grab that. Sticky. Or not sticky. Uh, hard to control bastards. Come here. We can get our light back in just a moment, but I want you... Okay, there we go. Nice. We're all phosphorescent and stuff. Beautiful. I love it. And you are just more light stuff. I keep thinking it's one of the ghosts, but I think... Yeah, we need the blue one and the purple one, not the green one, so... I like the way this place actually looks, though. It looks really nice. And you. I didn't need that for energy. I needed it for health, but whatevs. There you go. Got it. And we still actually gotta be rolling. Okay, I thought we, because that wasn't as steep, we might be able to just walk, but no such luck. Okay. Now, hopefully, this actually lasts for a decent amount of time here so we can actually see where we're going. That'd be great. Otherwise it gets kind of pitch dark in here. And not really afraid of the dark or nothing. Fun ah, you son of a bastard. But it helps if we can actually see what we're doing so we don't fall off the cliffs. Constantly. Hey, we're still a nightlight. What do you know? Well, we were. Oh, what's over here? There's a pagey and a KG, and I didn't even see you. Uh, now as for getting through you, this must be, you know, we're probably just going to go all the way around this damn cave, and then we'll just make like a giant U-turn, pretty much. Yeah, which is fine, I guess. Now, if we stop right here, nope, 
I was thinking because, you know, it's in the middle, we might be able to walk on it, you know, maybe just have to walk on the ramp, but no such luck there. Come on, I know you can do it. There's not like a timer or anything showing, hey, this is how much time you have left on your your tongue power. So you gotta just kinda guesswork it and hope not to fall off the edge here. Whoa, whoa, whoa calm yourself. I mean, luckily the quills kinda go in the dark a little bit. Maybe not go in the dark, but you can actually see where they are. So I guess if you just follow these, you're not gonna have too much danger falling off the edge. There you go. Let's see, how's our health? Yeah, we got everything good. Come here. Damn. Where is... You know, I'd rather have the honey or something that makes it easy to roll on the ledge here than the nightlight. There's a ton of butterflies here, Sasha. So Beautiful. You die. And you die. And give me that. And I'll take that. Thank you. And that. Over here. That looks like a pit of death. So let's just ignore that. Um, oh, we can do double powers. That's cool. I wasn't sure if we could, but it looks like we can. Then again, I guess I guess this is a, uh, a breath power or something like that. Whereas this is just a body modification or something like that. Uh, we're gonna have to deal with these bastards. I mean, I don't like these guys in the best of times, but... Ah, don't you dare fall off. I guess they wanted me to use those on those guys since they think they might be semi-weak to the ice elements since they appear to be the fire types. By the way, I'm not sure if I figured this out already because I forgot, but, um... Those ice flowers actually can defeat the the sentry machines with the little laser grid stuff outside. Because I was coming back to the area, and, well, it actually managed to kill them. Don't make me walk all the way back, you bastards. You fucks. Okay. I'll make you guys suffer through this one more time here, and then after that, if I fall off again, which is bullshit, by the way, that you have to go all the way back here. Oh, do it off screen. Maybe there's an easier way to get to that dang pagey. That'd be great. You know, instead of having to fiddle around in the dark here. energy, grab you, and keep going. Luckily, we don't have to worry about the pages at the moment, so we're fine. Now, let's see here. I kind of want to just... Oh, actually, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, let's do this. And yeah, these guys will be able to be killed off here. As long as I actually hit him at some point, we should be a-okay. Yeah, we gotta be a little... spammy with it, but I think it'll work. Come here, you. And try it again. Down. Got him. Okay, good. Now we don't gotta worry about that. That makes our life plenty easy. Or easier, slightly. And there we go. It would have been kind of a pain in the ass to try to deal with those guys while trying to stay on that platform, so that's one way to do it, I suppose. Now, this is the fun part. Yeah, I, I, don't you dare. And there's no ice flowers to get rid of those guys. I'll be right back.
All right, back in action here. And you have just enough time with those uh, ice flowers to actually be able to shoot that one drone guy that's in the way. You son of a bastard. Alrighty, again. And the enemies don't seem to respawn every single time. It seems to be every once in a while. And you know what? I've actually gotten to the point where I can just get through this damn area extra fast, so I'm not even going to bother. But yeah, it seems like sometimes the enemies respawn, sometimes they don't. So it's kind of random, it looks like. Yeah, we can do this without the lights easy enough. Just make sure that your jump is used for turning a little bit here. Gotcha. And stay still forward. And yeah, okay, these guys decided they want to come back here. You. That means those drones are probably back. Yes, they are. Okay. Oh, at least one of them is. Okay, got him. Grab that again. Don't even bother with the light here. The light's useful for areas that we haven't been to, like up there, if we ever manage to get past it. But I don't think we need it all the time. Okay, now we have just enough time to... Not get that guy. Okay, we're gonna have to suffer here. Dude, what the hell? Why do you, why do you stop jumping, you little fuck? How about you actually jump when you're supposed to, dude? It's like that little patch of snow screws me over somehow. I'm not sure why. Like I said, if it gets to the point where it just gets too frustrating to deal with, I'm just gonna ignore it. I mean, I liked 100% the game. But, yeah, sometimes something's just too irritating to bother with. Okay, you guys aren't there. I'm going to go ahead and take that just to make sure we have another chance at that little dude. Because, well, I don't want to have to deal with him on top of bullshit platforming. And he apparently just went bye-bye all by himself. Okay, that's good. Okay. Okay. Dude! Stop falling off every frickin' ledge. What the hell? That was stupid. We're on the ledge, but apparently it's so fucking slippery in this damn cave that we're just gonna fall off every single possible ledge every single frickin' time. What the hell? There's no need for that. I wonder if this is gonna be one of the areas that gets upgraded when we upgrade the book. Like, I don't know if the inside cave parts do get upgraded or not. I and mean, if they do, they'd probably show us. Okay, I don't see... Uh, I was gonna say, I don't see any robots to deal with, but... Apparently, I didn't see that corner there, either. Yeah, we're ignoring these chumps, because screw them. You can probably jump across that little gap right there, too, and save yourself a little bit of energy. I guess if you don't have, like, the, uh, the roll tonic, that would save a little bit of time, but, nah, I think we're good. Actually, I don't think it would be very much fun trying to get through here without the roll tonic, just because it's a pretty decent chunk of dashing around here. Okay, I'm not going to bother with you guys, because we don't need it. Even if the other guy is up there, we should be okay. Let's not kill ourselves again. Okay, I don't care about you. I'm just going to ignore you. Stop it. Don't, don't you dare roll off. Okay, got it. Got it. Got it! Yeah, screw you. Screw you platforming. Okay, let's grab that so we can actually see what's going on here. Hello, you're a big brute. Uh, let's, uh... 
There you go, that works. So you're actually smart enough to block our sonics, or sonic boom or whatever. But you're reasonably vulnerable to knocking me off the fucking ledge, don't you dare. Dude! That guy just reamed me, like, hard. Okay, when we get back over there, I'm gonna ignore that little bastard because I'm not trying to make this trip again. I'm just irritating enough without killing yourself on that guy. I mean, after we get the page or whatever, I might come back and try to whack him one for good measure, but... We'll see. No promises. I hope those damn bots haven't respawned. Because they're irritating enough right here that we do want to deal with them. Okay, they have not respawned. That's great. Now, let's actually not die up here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look around and watch. There's going to be like honey or something that makes it real easy to get past this, isn't there? No, there's not. And I was hoping. All right, let's, uh... Not die here. There we go. We got it. Got it. Uh, let's see. Ignore you. Because you do massive amounts of damage for whatever reason. Hey, there's a snowman in there. There's this guy. Uh, you. Don't you dare. Go away. I'm not trying to die here. Oh. Where are those butterflies? They're right here. I need these butterflies. Like. There we go. And. Continue to ignore you. Goodbye. Treasure chest, go away. Same with you. There we go. Snowman's taken care of. You taken care of. Okay. More light stuff. More platforming. Okay, good. You're not going to try to kill me too much. And what is that over there? Okay, this is glowy stuff. I couldn't see to be 100% sure. Alright, more glowy stuff. And then I think we have to jump over that to... I'm not sure where, though. Like, where exactly are we jumping over to? Oh, just we gotta jump on to it, I think. Yeah, I think that should be fine. There we go. Grab that for health. That for health. Kinda need you. Right. More fun stuff. Don't you dare. I'm not falling off this close to the end because I can see the pagey there. Got it. Oh, that was a pain in the ass. We did? What tonic do we unlock? Is that just for getting through this pain in the ass cave? Is that what, is that what it's for? Because that seems like a pretty decent reward. <sighs> Screw you, Grit Glitter Maze Cave, or whatever the heck you're called. Screw you. Okay, I want to see what this tonic is. Dang, we... I completely forgot that we were actually exploring the water because that cave screws you over so bad. Get to the top of the water, dude. Jeez, you take forever to get up there. Not trying to be critis not trying to be critical here, but it seems like it took forever to get to the water there. Or the water top. Your washing machine expl exploded? That can't be good. Uh yeah, already. Go away. Nope. Nothing else. Nothing else. And you can never shut up, can you? Alright. Now, I think the tonic vendor was right over here. Uh, screw you. Not dealing with you. Goodbye. There she is. Alright, now, what are you offering here? Let's see. What is... Rare items are near. I don't think that's the one we unlocked. Uh, Porter. Quills with Yuka's Lizard Lash. 
Is that the one we just unlocked? I'm not sure. I, I think it is, but I'm not sure how we unlocked it. A more powerful buddy slam. Honestly, I think we're just going to stick with uh, the roll move just because that's pretty helpful. Alright, so we managed to barely survive that damn cave. Next episode, we're going to continue exploring the water and hopefully find more friendly locales. So guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.